Hi there, Bond Crowder with Math4.com. Math is not a four-letter word. Here talking about division with number tiles. I have here a game from Simply Fun called Sumology, and I haven't even looked at the rules of the game. I am fascinated because they are number tiles. Look at this. They're just little number tiles, and they're awesome. They also have pluses and minuses and other operations and equal sign. I'm going to use them for division. So I've created this template thing that you can cut out and use for the bits that you're going to see me use. So you can go to math4.com slash division and get that, which is where you might be right now. Or you could be on YouTube. So I've used a random number generator to create my divisor and my dividend. That's where what these pieces are underneath for the uh, in the division problem itself this is uh, this these are written on this template which is also a download on that same site and so that the child or even the grown-up like me because I don't know these words the uh, you can remember what these words are as you do this so look this has divisor and then this one is written divisor and then my random number generator created 9013. So those are my pieces here of the dividend. And I have coded these with circles on both sides, triangles on both sides, squares on both sides, so that it's going to be easy. I don't accidentally get my numbers mixed up, see, because the shapes don't match. Just a little feature of my template, because probably because I'm anal. So, there's my division problem. 7 into 9,013, or 9,013. So here's how we play this. Everybody moves down to the working dividend from the dividend, and divisor moves over here. That's how we start. Then we have our multiplication problem, because division is just reverse multiplication. So here's our working dividend here. So we take the first element and go right here. So 7 times what gives me 9? Well, obviously 7 doesn't actually multiply by anything to straight give me 9, but I'm going to come close. So 7 times 1 gives me 7, which is pretty close to 9 without going over. So I'm going to put the 7 here and I'm going to say, okay, 9, this is not really 7. So what adds to 7 to get 9? Well, grab a 2. So 7 plus 2 is 9, so 7 times 1 is really this, these two numbers added together. So this is going to throw away. This piece right here, it reads remainder or working dividend. So we put this over here at the working dividend. This is our regular dividend. He goes back up here. Notice this reads answer or quotient, and divisor stays there. Then, next step, we just do it over and over and over again. We take these two pieces. Now part of our working dividend, 7 times what gives me 20? Well 7 times 3 gives me 21, gives you 21 as well, hopefully. But that goes over our number here, so we want to go down one. So 7 times 2 is actually 14. 7 times 2 is 14. We're looking for 7 times what? 7 times what gives us 20. So 20 plus what number is, I'm sorry, 14 plus what number is 20? 14 plus 6 is 20. So the 14 goes away. The 6 then becomes part of my working dividend. My thing is sliding over here. The 2 goes away because he doesn't have a piece of paper. 0 is part of the real dividend. Notice the circles matching up. 2 is part of the answer, and 7 stays put because I'm not quite done. Take, again, working dividend here. 7 times what gives me 61? Well, let's see, 7 times 9 is 63. Too big. 7 times 8 then. Orient him correctly. 7 times 8 is 56. 50... But we're not looking for what 
multiplies to give me 56. We're looking, oh man, just spilled the coffee. Doggone it. All right, nothing damaged. Seven times eight is 56, and 56 adds to what to give 61? 56 plus five is 61. So these go away, bye-bye. The five is the remainder or working dividend. We're still working. This one doesn't have a piece of paper. He goes away. This is part of the dividend. Notice the triangles matching up. This is part of my answer. Again, 53. Seven times what is 53? Seven times eight is 56. Too big. Seven times seven is 49. Give me a nine. Where's a nine? Ah. Seven times seven is 49. I don't want 49. I want 53. 49 add to what gives me 53. 49 plus four gives me 53. These go away. This is part of my remainder or working dividend. I'm no longer working. It's part of the remainder, or it is the remainder. This has no piece of paper, he goes away. This is part of my real dividend. This is answer. And my divisor gets to go home to divisor world. Seven into 9,013 is 1,287, remainder four, long division, woohoo! I'm Bon Crowder with Math4.com reminding you that math is not a four-letter word.